Hi guys! In this lesson, I want to talk about getting the look for less. When it comes on to home or even office decor, getting the look for less. How do you get the look for less? Or even, what is the look? Who determines the look? Well, it's in your hands. You determine the look. The look is defined as how you want your space to look and feel. You want your space to embrace you, to reflect who you are and how you live. You want to be able to relax in your space. So let's see how you can get that look for less. Now, there are three ways that I want to focus on in this lesson to get your look for less. Number one, no furniture store that has an as is department never just pass them by because the furnishings or the items that are in that um as is room doesn't necessarily have to be items that's damaged it could actually be items that are being discontinued or items that were returned by a customer or just leftover items at the end of the season that the store wants to get rid of and you can get it as a way cheaper price that when it's than when it's on the regular floor okay take for example this artwork so it's not damaged mm, maybe they're discontinuing the style and so I was able to get it for a fraction of the price. Something like this, you could actually use as an inspiration for a space um, design or a color story for a space. Now these panels, I also got in the as is department. They are as good as anything you'd buy off the floor. They were actually packaged they weren't damaged and they're actually meant to be used as curtains okay so that's what i'm talking about when i talk about never passing your as is department uh, the second thing um, way i want to talk about in getting the look that you desire for your space is to never pass up vintage sales vintage items can not only do you get them for a fraction of the price that you pay for new items, especially artwork, but they can actually add that lived in feel to your space that no, I'm not saying go pick something up that you don't like. You need to fall in love or in like with the piece to bring it into your space because you will have to live with that piece. But I just have a few pieces of vintage items I want to show to you that you could actually use in your space to get the look for less. These are lamp shades and these lamp shades I picked up at not really was a vintage shop but do you know your um habitat for humanity store your i like to shop in my restore stores and i always find great vintage items there that i think are pretty cool pieces and they're vintage eh? now here look at these and yeah we all know that actually the way we pull our space together is by how we accessorize our space. The accessories actually help to pull your space together. So when it comes on to accessories, yeah, vintage, all oh, cool. Look at these. These are some pretty fine candle sconces. These were bought in a vintage shop. Now, if you have to buy this new, you may have to pay 10 times what you'd pay for what I paid for it in the vintage shop. So uh, candles, sconces, as I said, accessories in general for your space, check out vintage shops. Artwork, I mentioned before, let me show you artwork. Well, actually, 
I have a secret here because check this out. This is actually a mirrored artwork. There is mirror around on the frame and it's a pretty lovely landscape picture too. I didn't get this at Aziz department. I didn't get this in a vintage shop. Guess where I got this? Yep, off the curb. I got it off the curb and I just cleaned it up and it didn't have a back on it. I put a back on it and there you got it. Something that's very on trend, very desirable. I got it for nothing. So that's another place I don't mind shopping. Uh, you know, I will pick something up if I think I can use it and I can upcycle it, recycle it, repurpose it. Because the same stuff that you find in a vintage shop sometimes, they're the same stuff that people don't bother to take to the vintage shop. They just put them on the curb. So that's, um, and check this out. This is another piece of artwork. Now, something like this, you could get for maybe 200 bucks. Uh, if you were to buy this um, new in the stores, I should actually give you a caution because vintage stuff can also be expensive, depends on where you shop for them. There are some stores that will, high end vintage shops that will have some of these for almost the price of new. So be very careful where you choose to buy your vintage items. But something like this, you could get for 200 bucks in a shop like mine. In another shop, you may have to pay a thousand bucks for it. <laughs> okay, so that's vintage art. Look, I have to show you this piece. This is another vintage piece. And this is actually cruel artwork. Isn't it neat? It's pretty cool. I tell you, you can get some cool vintage stuff to pull your space together and just let it feel like home. Or even if you're in an office space, your office space can feel homey, right? Because you have to spend a lot of time there anyway. The last, the third way you can get the look for less, especially when it comes on to designer fabrics. Hmm. Check out those designer flea markets. You can also get some vintage stuff at the designer flea markets too, but they might just be a little pricier than going to your Salvation Army or your Value Village or whatever vintage shop you have in your area. But to get designer fabrics are usually very expensive. So to get the look for less when you shop designer fabrics, check out the designer flea markets. And guess what? It doesn't have to be a huge piece of fabric for you to use it. Take for example, I use fabric samples to make this throw. I use like fabric. When I say like fabric, I'm talking about the content of the fabric. I put them together and I make a multicolored color blocked throw that can keep you comfy cozy in the cooler months okay so the this is made from fabric samples you don't need a uh, 10 yards of fabric in order to get the look for less when it comes on to designer fabrics a little piece can pack a punch and it doesn't have to, the, the samples are usually the larger ones. Mm, do I have any samples? Close to me. I'll grab a sample for you to see. Okay, so this is a, a, a sample, a fabric sample, designer fabric sample. Now we can be a little smaller than this, but this is run about the ballpark of a designer fabric sample. This looks just like the size of a lovely cushion. But guess what? You can also use swatches. Swatches are the smaller pieces. I use swatches for this below. I just join them, stitch them together. 
and to make the face of the pillow and then I use a solid fabric at the back of the pillow so no piece of fabric for me is ever too small to be used and so you can use samples you can designer samples designer swatches to make pillows and throws and sometimes you can even get larger pieces larger pieces that maybe you won't be able to use it to make curtains or drapes but you can use them to make toppers or roman blinds and then you know what you can do pair a piece of fabric that you buy in your local fabric store with the designer fabric it will help to elevate it so these larger pieces of designer fabrics they are actually called remnants remnants so you have the smaller pieces which are the swatch swatches the larger piece that i showed you which are the samples and then you have the remnants the remnants you can buy for roman blinds and you can cut them down and use them for your cushions too but that's another way to get designer fabrics in order to get your look for less in your space go to those designer fabric sales or designer fabric or designer flea markets so those are three ways i've shared with you how to get the look your look for less like it please give it a thumbs up please if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be notified of new videos i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe now